hometowns. A lot of you probably enjoy where you grew up and uh, have fond memories about it, and the rest of you probably lived in Idaho like me. <coughs> Oh, disgusting! Smack dab in the top left corner of the USA. Idaho is known as the country's leading exporter of potatoes and incest. And despite me spending the last nine years trying to do everything I can to stay away from that accursed land, today I thought we would go and visit my hometown on Google Maps. I would take you there for real, but I have a tiny bit of respect for myself left, and I would really hate for that to go away. And I have no idea if this is gonna be, like, interesting or anything. I think, if anything, it's just gonna be really sad, but, you know, everyone else has great childhood stories, and I'm just gonna be like, yeah, this is where I threw a rock in a lake for five hours one time. Uh, also, before getting into it, this shirt is now available over on my merch store at desmerch.com. It was probably the highest requested shirt I've ever made, but never sold, so support the channel, go get it while it lasts over at desmerch.com. All right, so here we are, Sandpoint, Idaho. Uh, you'll notice in the corner as we look this up, one of the uh, town's chief attractions, which is <laughs> this single train car. So, you know, bring the family, uh, come on down, because this, this doesn't get much more exciting than that. So this is pretty much where I live from ages, I think, 10 to around 20. So all of elementary school, all of middle school, all of high school was right here in Sandpoint. A lovely town of 8,000 people. Wait, why are they, what? Okay, I just learned this about my town. Apparently Sandpoint has the most amount of murders per 100,000 population. <laughs> Apparently all the murderers come to live in Sandpoint. So pretty much the entire town of Sandpoint takes place on like this one little street right here. So if you were to gather like the highlights of Sandpoint, this one street is it. So I guess we'll come back to this this uh, the street and then I'll actually just show you like my first houses and stuff. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so right here was actually my first house that I lived in basically when we when we moved to Idaho. We moved to Idaho from Alaska. So prior to actually being in Idaho, my mom and I were like really fucking poor. Like uh, I've told this story before in a, in a past video, but like we were so poor that we lived in a 10 man army tent down by a river in Alaska. And uh, I just remember eating the same stale ass burritos like every single day. You'd think like now I'd be sick of fucking burritos, but I love them still. So after living in that house, uh, my mom and I lived with my ex stepdad in a house that he had basically built himself on top of a mountain. So here was Sandpoint, and just to give you kind of the idea of how far away from town we lived, we lived all the way the fuck over here. <laughs> Obviously because it's not like a main road, I can't actually show you, but it was both cool and really awful that I lived this far away from town. Obviously being that far away from town, it's really hard to like have friends come over. I mean, I didn't really have friends anyways, but even if I did, they would not have been able to come over to my house very often. Uh, I do remember though, one birthday I had where I tried to invite people to come up to my, uh, <laughs> to my house up here. And I think like three or four people showed up and I have, okay. <laughs> so, so my mom was one of those moms that thinks that like having TV or having video games rots your brain, right? But we had like this big property and so most of the fun that I would ever have was just like exploring and like pretending like weeds were orcs and like slicing them with swords. Yeah, you basically had to have an imagination to like have a good time living this far away from humanity. So basically like that one time I had a birthday up here, like I invited all these people over and like no None of them were having a good time because there was just nothing to fucking do. So this is where my bus stop was, was like right near these mailboxes because they wouldn't go past it because this is all dirt road, <laughs> as you can see. So I had to walk a mile uphill uh, to get to my house and like along the way, like if it was winter, it fucking really sucked. Uh, other than those, though, I pretty much didn't have any good memories about this house at all. It was pretty fucking terrible. So after I lived a thousand years away, uh, my mom divorced my stepdad and uh, we ended up living in this very, very tiny house um, in the middle of Sandpoint, right here this little teeny purple house right here and it still looks exactly the same and I love that so a lot of the first videos that I ever made like on my channel were from this house that was my room right here and some of the uh, videos you'll see were filmed basically from that window <laughs> But because I've never really lived like downtown anywhere, this was like my favorite place to live because I was so close to everything. Having friends over was really cool. Um, I wanna say, I think I was like 16 when we lived in this house. Probably the coolest thing about this house 
was that right across the street was this warehouse and uh, my mom's friend owned this warehouse and he actually taught me how to DJ in the warehouse. So like every, pretty much every day after school, he would just be DJing in there and I'd be able to go in and like fucking hang out with him and stuff. So that was really sick. Uh, I actually had my 16th birthday there and you know, 16th birthdays are always supposed to be like really big events. So I pretty much invited the whole school to come into this warehouse and like just have like this dance party basically. And I'm pretty sure like eight people showed up and it it was incredibly sad. Uh, like no one wanted to stick around, and it was it was a it was a huge bummer. bummer. Like I said, I didn't have like any friends during middle school or high school or or now. You know, I just have never had friends. And I don't remember why my mom moved out of this place, but uh, we basically moved a little bit down the road, which was still pretty close to everything. I, in my opinion, wasn't as cool as the Purple House just because I just had so many memories there that were that were awesome. Was it here? Yeah. Okay. So right, right here. So that house right there. That is where I filmed like literally every video that I ever made. I love you. I love you. I don't even know one all the way through nine and a half was filmed in this tiny window back here. It was actually behind this little area right here. There was like this little window right on that side. And then that's where I filmed like all of my videos. So basically I would steal my mom's um, digital camera and I would put it up on the windowsill and then just put a sheet behind me and record from there so I'd get like natural lighting and stuff. That was it. This is the house. This this is where I filmed everything. This is where like my YouTube fucking career and channel started taking off from. Another cool thing about this house was basically because my room was right here and my mom's room was like the top floor, I would just have people like come to my window uh, and just sneak in my window all the time because my mom didn't like that I had like friends coming over like really late or whatever, but I would just sneak them in anyways. <laughs> like I said, I was a big piece of shit as a child. Let let's not kid each other, okay? I was a big piece of shit as a teenager too. God bless my mom for putting up with all of my bullshit. <laughs> so also while we're over here, uh, down this road was actually my elementary school right here. Oh, dude. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is our recess area. And I have a couple of memories about this whole area. Well, first off, there were a couple of videos that were filmed actually in this playground and the surrounding area, like over here. If you guys ever saw Nate Napalm 2 uh, on the Destinate channel, that was filmed here. But uh, elementary school memories in this playground. I remember I was climbing one of these little jungle gym things and like there was a girl in front of me. And I remember I was like, Lindsay, hurry up, you slut. <laughs> and like she cried, ran to like the principal or like the uh, attendant lady that like stays out here and told her what I said. And then the the attendant lady came over to me and was like, how dare you call her that? And I was like, what did I call her? Cause like, I honestly didn't know what that term meant at the time. I just heard it somewhere. So I just called the girl a slut and I got huge trouble about it. Um, and then I also remember like right around in this area, like there's like a jungle gym type thing. It doesn't look like they have it anymore, but there was a jungle gym thing right here. And there was this girl that was trying to ask me out. This is probably like third grade. There was a girl that was trying to ask me out and she kept trying to say like who she liked. She's like, I had a crush on someone. And I'm like, oh, who is it? And like, obviously I know who the, who the fuck it was cause she was like crushing on me for a while. And I was like, oh, who is it? And she's like, it's you. And I really didn't like this girl at all. So I was just like, wait, who's you? Is he a foreign exchange student? Is he Asian? Like who's you? I don't know what you. I, you have to explain this to me. <laughs> and then also right here uh, is where the football games were always played at. Obviously because I wasn't ever into like football stuff, this was still the place to be if like you wanted to hang out with people like after hours or like you wanted to like hit on chicks and stuff. So I remember coming here one time and uh, I was really depressed because I think like I had just gotten broken up with or something like that. And uh, one of my friends was back behind the uh, football field back in this like little foresty area here and like he was hanging out with a bunch of like druggies like the druggy group you know and uh he's like hey man you're looking pretty sad and he was like hey try this and i was like i don't want any drugs he's like it's not drugs bro i promise and i fucking ate it and it was disgusting turns out it was mushrooms so fucking like 30 minutes later, I am tripping balls, walking around <laughs> the football field. <laughs> so I remember like right over there, right the fuck over there, I was like walking around and there was this group of people that I knew and like one of the girls that I barely knew was talking 
and as she was talking, her face started doing this. <laughs> and I just remember cracking the fuck up, and I pointed at her, and she's like, what's so funny? And I said, your face, like really loud. So then she kicked me in the shin and left me there on the ground and walked away. <laughs> so after that, I was like, all right, I probably need to chill out a little bit. So I walked up these bleachers right here and I sat up here and I was just trying like my absolute hardest to just like, okay, Destry, you're fine. Like just focus on anything other than what just happened. Just focus on the, on the football game, yeah. So I remember looking out at the football game happening and a guy that was carrying the football just starts running and then he ran into the sky. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I need to go home. So after that, I just was like, yeah, I'm never, never trusting that fucker again with anything. So after that house uh, that I showed you a little bit ago, uh, I, I moved in with my friend at the time to my first apartment ever, which you guys might remember as the apartment that I destroyed a TV at. And uh, let me show you where that is. The thing about this apartment is like, if you're driving even a little bit too fast, you'll miss it because that's it. Um, this little driveway. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Look at how shitty that is. Like, what the hell? So this little yard right there, if you won't even want to call it a yard, that's where I destroyed that TV. Well, de Destry. Destry? So this apartment was $300 a month, which was nothing. I didn't have a lot of money at the time. This was like just when my YouTube stuff was taking off. And this apartment was just the worst. Like, let me try to paint a picture for you, okay? The first thing about this apartment, actually, I could probably show you the insides of it. Okay, oh, Jesus Christ. I hate this. I, I hate this. This is how small this apartment was. So you walk in, it's just immediately this kitchen, and then right, the door right next to it, this was the bathroom, and then that's the front of the house. You didn't get any room for anything. My bed was exactly where that bed was. Um, and then if you guys remember the Destry Destroys a TV video, my TV was set up right here. The worst part about this apartment was that it was actually a duplex. So behind my little tiny, like, fucking studio apartment was another person's apartment. My next door or other side of the fucking wall neighbor was a guy named Joe, who is the creepiest son of a bitch I have ever met. So first off, every once in a while he would walk past because he needed like, that was his mailbox right there. So he would like walk past my fucking window. And every time he walked past my window, he would look in like, why, I don't fucking know, but I'll tell you a story in a second as to probably why he was fucking doing it. Fair warning, this is gonna be the worst story ever. <laughs> so at the time that I lived in this apartment, um, I had a girlfriend, and for a lack of a more sensitive way to say this, she was very loud uh, in the R-rated way. So uh, one time after my girlfriend left, Joe comes walking on by, and, you know, strikes up a conversation with me and is like, Hey, sounds like you were giving it to her good. Why? Why would you even say that? Like, that's what? So I was like, ha ha ha, yeah, Joe. Okay, have a good day. You know, trying to get the fuck away from this guy. And that, it was, that's not it, okay? And then he, no joke, I swear to Allah, said, You know, if you ever want to come into my apartment and do that with her, feel free. What? What the fuck? What does that mean? Like, still to this day, what did he want? What? I did not feel safe bringing her over ever again. Uh, luckily, I wasn't here for that long. After living in this apartment, I, you know, got enough money from YouTube stuff, and I actually had a job at this time. I worked at a bakery that was down the road, which isn't there anymore, sadly. And so I was able to pack up all of my shit and move to Coeur d'Alene, which is still in Idaho, but it's way prettier. And I'll show you guys that uh, in another video if you guys want me to do any more of these, because, you know, we still have the Florida saga to go through. <laughs> but anyways, that was uh, where basically I did uh, the videos. The Q&A series was all started in here. I, I filmed, I don't even know, 10 in this house. Obviously, like, the Destry Destroys a TV and, like, the start of the Captain Destes channel was in that. <sighs> in that apartment, excuse me. So those were all the apartments slash houses that I lived in while I was in Sandpoint, but uh, I have yet to show you my school. Let's go. So here it is, guys. This is my high school uh, and middle school, actually. So right here uh, was the middle school 
that building was the uh, middle school and then right next to it this was the high school and that's it I don't I don't need to show you anything else there because there's no good memories so okay bye here's a memory about the school uh, I remember right here I was walking uh, right here and uh, someone threw a milkshake at my head and called me an emo faggot so yeah that's about the best memory that I can recall don't mind this like terrible picture of football players will just blur their faces or something but uh, right behind them was the entrance basically to the side of the school where the art room was. I spent a ton of time in the art room and that was actually where I had my first kiss. And that first kiss has haunted me for many years because it was the time that I licked a girl's tooth. In case you ever see that comment, that's what that's talking about because no one will ever let it die that I licked someone's tooth. You know what? Maybe I want to lick teeth. Maybe that's what I like, okay? I enjoy licking teeth now. That's how I kiss. Okay. All right, let's check out the reviews for my high school. The building and teachers and staff are crap. Change your student to a different school. It will help their education. <laughs> here's, a, here's a review. Okay, nice. Mediocre experiences in the East Hallway. Specifically in the East Hallway. Like the rest of it was all right, but that East Hallway. Here, I'll write one as well. Um, one star. This place was created by the Dark Lord Satan himself. I learned nothing here. I am 30 years old and still have emo hair and I blame the school. Perfect. There we go. So that was pretty much all of like where I lived and the schools that I went to, but as far as like the rest of the town, there's really not much to it. Like I will go to the main street that we were on before. Wow, check it out guys. Grocery stores. Ooh. This place right here, uh, this is where my stepdad worked for a while, Misty Mountain Furniture. A memory I have about being in this furniture place, right there, this like little tower area, was uh, like abandoned, like no one went up there ever. So I remember I was being a devious little asshole and I climbed up into this tower and someone had just like left like a shitload of porn magazines and I was like, you know, 12 or 13 and I was like, oh, dude, that's what the woman looks like naked? I wonder if they're still up there. I should go back and like try to try to see if they're still there. If we go a little bit down the road right here, uh, this was the building that I climbed up. Uh, you can kind of see these little tower things right here. I climbed up this little area and then while this building was being built, uh, my friend and I opened the front door, which was open. The front door was open. We walked in. It was like 11 at night. You know, there was nothing going on. There was like, music playing in there, but there was no one there. So we're like, huh, that's weird. So we tried to leave and police cars swarmed us and got their guns out of the fucking holsters, pointed at us, told us to freeze, and we were just like, what the fuck? Turns out that the door wasn't supposed to be open and it still tripped the silent alarm, so police like, were alerted because here's the thing, this building is a bank and it, we didn't know that at the time because it was being built. So uh, they thought we were trying to rob the bank. I'll show you one more place because honestly, there's only one more thing in this whole goddamn town that's of importance at all. And that is the city beach. This is, I guess you, if you could call it this, Sandpoint's like main attraction was like right here. Anyone that was anyone would go to the city beach for you know, anything. Parties would happen there. Events always happen here. And because my childhood wasn't the best, I was obviously not invited to any of these parties or anything. But I do remember uh, there was a time that my friend and I hiked up on top of this little railroad area right here. <laughs> I'm just realizing how goddamn delinquent we were. And then we hid right behind that sign and threw burritos and water balloons at people's cars as they passed underneath. <laughs> And so like, I remember one time we threw one and it like hit the person's windshield and you just hear them slam on their brakes and like get out of the car. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and like, we just bolted. We ran away because it was just like, uh-uh, we are getting caught today, fam. Who the fuck you is? I probably know them. I'm not, I, I'm not even joking. Like the town is so small that like everyone just knew each other. And then right next to uh, the place where my stepdad worked actually right here, um, was like, I mean, I think it's a dance studio, but behind there uh, was a rented out dojo. And uh, I remember, I think I was 16 or 17 and I took Aikido there. 
and that was a really fun time, actually. I only ever got my yellow belt, but don't think that I can't break your wrist, because I, I, hmm, you better watch out, because I will break it. I'll straight up break your wrist right off. Man, yeah, okay, well, that's it, guys. That's my whole hometown. <laughs> that's it. I wish I could show you more, but that's honestly it. So, as I said, uh, I could show you uh, Coeur d'Alene, which is about 45 minutes south, um, right there. And as you can see, is much bigger, but I'm going to save that for another video. So if you guys want to see more of this, if you're interested at all, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will continue this. I actually had a lot of fun going through, uh, even though most of my memories about this whole area are total shit. It was still fun. By the way, I had to cut a lot of footage from this video, so if you want to see the full uncut version, make sure to subscribe to my Patreon over at patreon.com slash Let's just say I sat here talking about Idaho and my hometown for an hour and 25 minutes, and uh, the full uncut version will be over on my Patreon, so check that out. So that said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this very different video. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night or weekend or whatever it is. Uh, I love you all and fair winds. Thank you.